All right, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. Uh, first things first, when they talk about the Optima GT5500, the biggest screen size you're able to get from that screen was 100 inches. My screen is at 126 inch, and then I did a demonstration outside on a screen of 135 inch. So I'm gonna show you what I have behind me. I just finished the monster screen, and I'm just testing it out on the projector right now. All right, so let's begin. So there's my Optima GT5500, and this is the size of the screen I'm pulling off. Now, as I said before, black technology has the ability to be able to do things with your projector that you didn't think were possible. The screen size for this projector that was put in specifications was to be 100 inches. As you can see, I got some ridges right there. I'm probably going to fill that in with some spackle sand it down a little bit because it's the only rough area I have there in the screen that's noticeable and I'm going to basically just go over it again but just look at this right here look at the size of my screen ceiling to floor screen I'm using the Optima GT 5500 lumen projector that was only supposed to do a screen size of 100 inches now I did this demonstration showing the screen overlapping on a 120 inch screen the 120 inch screen coated with their technology Pulled a perfect image where everything around it that was white came out unnoticeable. So bottom line is the uh, picture quality deteriorated on a white screen, a light gray screen, but on our black technology, it pulls up. Now, once I get, I ordered another, and keep, yes, I did. I ordered another um, NEC projector. I like the first one I got. I should have kept it, sold that one. And now I'm actually in the process of actually getting another NEC projector. I actually have two projectors coming in. I had the NEC uh, short throw projector and I have a um, uh, um, DuSonic that does 235.1. Now, if you read in specifications and it tells you that you can only get up to 100 inches on the Optima GT5500, that is false. Now, if you're doing it on a white screen, if you're doing it on a gray screen, no, the image is not going to pull up all that well. If you're doing it on black on a black screen, as in our Supreme 8 True Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint, it is going to come up looking fantastic. Now, as you can see, there's no fuzziness around the corners. The image is not distorted due to the fact that our black technology screens produce the best image possible. And yeah, I think this area right here, I'm going to actually put in a coat of maybe like um, some heavy spackle and go over it again. Because just a little bit of ridge sticking up. Other than that, the rest of the screen looks great. So I'm probably got a screen size at around, I say I'm somewhere between, maybe between 150 or 160 inch. Because this screen is about, almost, this is about a 200 inch screen. All right. So over here, I got a few demonstrations. I'm gonna do my fish. Well, actually, I got this scuba diving video. I love to do on the screen this size. This is gonna look pretty cool. Ooh, yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, see right there? I'm just going to spackle that edge just a little bit better and sand it out a little bit smoother and then redo it again. And now I want to tell you something really interesting. Interesting. The first time I rolled the screen on, all right? Like I rolled a little bit around the edges, but as I got toward the corners of the bottom area, it became very difficult for me to apply the um, with a roller. So I coated my screen using a paintbrush. Yep, I used a paintbrush. So this screen, 80% of it was actually done over again with a paintbrush. It was easier for me to get into those nooks and crannies with the paintbrush. And the pipes right up here are actually coated with our technology. Because I had to paint the pipes also.
Is that cool or what? It looks like I'm doing this in 235.1, but I'm not. This is actually at 1610. Apparently, I didn't know that the um, the uh, Optima projectors, um, if you pull them out outside the range, they shrink and they go into a kind of a, like a 235.1 kind of mode, which is interesting. I'm always finding out something new when it comes to projectors. Right there, you can see for yourself. Oops, sorry about that. I'm not blind anybody. There's some Optima. All right, with that being said, I got to get out of here. I got packages to get out the door for my customers. Thank you all for your time. I have to go, and God bless.